it's an effort by which we hope to keep students studying science, math, technology, and eventually engineering. Most students have a curiosity for science, but that somehow it's lost in the uh, late middle school. You want to try and sustain it uh, into careers. So that, that's our, our part in this. There were quite a few goals that we had. One was to have the students work in teams, to do some problem solving, to learn some programming, because they had to program all of these robots. They couldn't touch the robots. So the robots were on their own, relying on the programming to actually build the robots, to figure it out all on their own. And the students really, really dug in, and I, I think they did a tremendous job, and they were persistent. Uh, some of them were up late last night, and I heard one team was up till three in the morning. And also presentation skills, extremely important. All the teams had to give PowerPoint presentations, and all the members of the teams had to be involved. Primarily, we asked everybody what they felt most comfortable doing, what they thought their strength was for the team, and from there we were able to decide what they wanted to do so they wouldn't be unhappy throughout the season and be able to continue on from there. Well, we all had our part, our role in the, in the robot, and some of us built the robot, some of us um, brainstormed, um, programmed, built, uh, built a little a model and um, we all just work together. Whether it's medicine or law or business, all of the skills that they learn now are going to come into play. Persistence, uh, believing in themselves, working in a team, 21st century work skills. It is critically important that this country and indeed this planet have not only scientists and mathematicians and engineers who can solve the very, very tough problems we've faced with today, the food supply for this nation, global warming, but also uh, for everybody to have an understanding of what goes on in science so that they can be intelligent citizens and intelligent voters.